Hello and welcome to the Essence of Knowledge meeting, which is for the participants of the Essence of Knowledge program. Shivani is asking, existence is emptiness, a play of vibration, but then there must be some creative intelligence behind it to appear so perfectly and creatively. How can we explain this? It is very easy to explain this. You can call it by any name. For example, you are calling it as creative intelligence which is appearing so perfectly. You give it any name, you will find that it is you. You are appearing to yourself and you are appearing not in a random way. It is extremely perfect. There are imperfection in whatever is appearing and that is also a possibility because the whole is appearing. Everything must appear. So the imperfections also appear. But they are imperfections from the point of view of human beings, from the point of view of ignorance, ignorant people. Ultimately, the imperfection is also a play which is totally perfect. So the short answer is it is you. The creative intelligence is you. It appears in a specific way. And because human intelligence is limited, it projects its own image on the whole. Remember, it is reverse. The whole is a this Human being is a projection of the whole, a small copy of the whole. But the reverse is also true that the human being, when it sees this appearance, which is itself, not knowing what it is, projects its own qualities on the on that which is appearing. And it calls it creative, it calls it intelligence, it uh, calls it a great power, and enigmatic, mysterious. It is all fine. This is all okay because it is like this. That is true. However, it is simply our projection. Probably it is much more than that. It is also destructive, isn't it? Not only creative, there is destruction also because it is whole. There is intelligence also but sometimes there is there are some things which appear which do not look like intelligent. It is possible because it is whole. However, a seeker is mesmerized by the glory of whatever is appearing. It's dumbfounded, awestruck. It is awesome for those whose, whose eyes are open, those who can see, can see the beauty of what is appearing. So try to know what is appearing. Probably you already know. <laughs> it is you. Now try to confirm it. Hopefully this much explanation will be okay. But uh, we can, we can leave it here. So Shivani is asking, awareness is always in present. However, the thoughts often escape to past or future and camouflage the awareness. This leads to the process of overthinking. How can we overcome this? It is not uncommon and it is not unnatural. However, if your overthinking is producing suffering, you will come to know. As soon as there is suffering, if your practice is so solid, you will come to know that I am not in awareness now. The indicator of not being in awareness is some kind of suffering. The overthinking will produce some kind of frustration, bitterness, negative emotions, some feelings in the body, negative thoughts. What are these? These are types of suffering. As soon as you see this, that there is suffering. You should train yourself to become aware. The signs of awareness are these thoughts are totally unimportant. These thoughts are producing suffering. Why are they going on? So this is one thing to make your suffering as a trigger for awareness. When do you remember doctor? When there is something wrong in the body, some pain in the body. You remember doctor. Why? Because uh, the pain is a trigger for this memory that I need to go to doctor. I need to take the medicine. Same way, you should train your mind that whenever there is overthinking, negative thinking, irrational thinking, habitual thinking or random emotions, imaginary things, it should trigger the memory of awareness, of knowledge. Same way. Because it is also a kind of pain, discomfort. So you should think about medicine and medicine is awareness. This will come through training. Your question is how can we overcome this? Training only. What is the meaning of training? Practice. Sadhana. That is your practice of awareness. 
and one way is to make the suffering as your trigger alarm you remember it because the alarm went off alarm is suffering like a fire alarm there is fire in the building the alarm goes off same way when there is suffering in the mind alarm should go off something is wrong here and then the awareness should should come back now this is one way isn't it this you can do it now present why why are thoughts of past or future now the second dimension of your question the root cause of thinking about the past or about the future is pending issues whatever you can do today i told you just now can you do something about the past impossible it already happened can you do something about the future it is possible because it's not happened <laughs> awareness means there is no time so so as good as imaginary past is imaginary future is imaginary what can you do only imagine that the answer lies in some kind of imagination only for the future do something something symbolic because you know that whatever i do today may or may not be fruitful you do the necessary for the future whatever you can and then become peaceful i did whatever i could because too much thinking will not change future some of the actions can change it or they don't actually change because there is nothing there in the future the future is darkness because it is not there and the past is also darkness it is completely imaginary it is some kind of memory just like you cannot eat the tomato in your memory it is useless it is not there it is not real nothing can be done same way you cannot do anything about the past and these thoughts should come in your mind now it happened but at least we can learn from the past do not repeat it that is the necessary thing to do necessary action what can i do the least about the past learn from it and that will make the mind little bit calm peaceful okay i learned this lesson and you can do one more thing that you can write down these things so that you don't have to go through them again from this event i learned this you know in your personal diary secret diary do not show it to anybody write it down from that event i learned this so writing down anchors it somewhere oh i i've already done it mind will say it's it is done finish chapter is closed so these are little bit practical things but from the path of knowledge point of view awareness is enough you can see that it is an unnecessary activity vritti in the mind it stops it stops when there is awareness or it continues in awareness produces something meaningful like learning new impressions in the mind a decision planning something fruitful will be produced instead of continuous random thoughts so writing down these thoughts will stop them from repeating because the mind says i finished it already no need to think about it doing some little bit of planning for the future doing some symbolic action arriving at a decision will stop it so this is my answer i have told you both practical ways which does not involve knowledge or awareness and i told you the way of awareness and ultimately it is all okay if the overthinking happens some day perfectly okay no problem at all the problem is your resistance to this normal activity of the mind your expectation is too high your hopes are too high that i there should not be even one thought there should not be even one useless thought no this is you know gold standard <laughs> it is not achieved so lower your expectation accept the instrument of mind body as it is that will cause a lot of peace resistance to what is natural will simply throw fuel in the fire i am like this i am like that the mind is like this accusing the mind who is accusing the mind is accusing itself now it has become distortion earlier it was overthinking which is which is okay some people think more it is normal like some people talk more some people run more they are physically more active same way some people think more actually i am one of them it never stops even in sleep <laughs> the mind thinks so accept it acceptance brings peace resistance brings suffering so do whatever you can and then in the end accept it's nothing wrong 
thinking takes no money it is not a loss of any kind yes if it is producing suffering make the suffering as the trigger this should become your habit just like i said training it should become your nature whenever is suffering identify is it as a problem in the mind and the solution is awareness do something if you can about it and then you to be peaceful nilam is saying does awareness involve the mind i find that the mind remains reminds the mind to be aware that some thoughts and emotions are going on in mind without getting involved in them is this awareness yes it is completely a mental activity awareness as per our definition of awareness to be aware is a state of the mind a special state of the mind where the thoughts are i am not any experience i am the experiencer so these are the thoughts so the mind itself finds out that these activities are going on knowledge happens in the mind there is nothing else there is you and there is mind is there anything else the body is nothing mind the world is nothing it is mind they are all simply projections in the mind images imagination or illusion mind is producing the illusion and the mind is simply a name of the illusion he said when we say mind produces illusion that does not mean that mind is something separate and real which is producing something false and illusory no mind is illusion it is simply a convenient way to describe our illusion like we when we start describing experiences we say that thoughts are mind emotions are mind then whatever is coming from the senses is mind what is coming from the senses world and body so everything is mind that is the conclusion or we say it is mental so these are the words that should bring clarity about what is experience the question is what is experience it is described like this so mind and experience are one thing one illusion is another name so there is one activity in the illusion which is very useful for any seeker that is to see it as illusion another thought comes everything that is appearing is illusion these thoughts these emotions are going on they are also mind and whatever happened here is useful for a seeker but it is also illusion it is negating the previous illusion the mind is saying yes it is all illusion and i am the seer the essence is the seer seer means the experiencer so it is all mental activity you can see but this mental activity is clearing the darkness in the mind instead of something which was happening in darkness thoughts and emotions now the same thing will happen in the light of knowledge knowledge is also in the mind and the knowledge that we gain on the path of knowledge is actually not a gain it is a loss it is negative knowledge so it clears up the mind so awareness is just like fresh air that clears up the smoke that is going on in the mind it is full of smoke you can say fire and smoke so <laughs> it is cleared now whatever remains is a peaceful mind pure mind so our definition of awareness is this that it is an activity that brings knowledge and light it shines light on whatever is already happening in the mind does not try to destroy it simply seeing clearly clear light some people can say some people can all awareness like this and there is nothing else that which is experiencing all these things clearing clouding pure mind impure mind coming of thoughts going of thoughts what is there there is no one there is nothing we say it is empty that is the whole existence you see in few sentences we have described the whole existence there is nothing else in the existence and in our terminology we can say in one line that there is experience and there is experiencer both are empty so i used some other words i used some other sentence only to make it clear so that neelam can understand it clearly because sometimes repeating the same words does not produce clarity it always reminds me of the movie the matrix there is a scene in that movie when the neo is fighting with agent smith they bo- they are both are pointing guns at each other neo's gun is pointed at his, his head agent's gun is pointing at neo's head and i think they already shot many many rounds because it is illusion it is matrix so 
probably they already fired thousand rounds of bullets but because it is a computer very able computer high capability the agent has kept the count how many shots new has fired agent says now you are empty and the new says you are also empty and that is the scene in the uh, movie but uh, there is a lesson there is a message in that scene that ultimately everything is empty i am empty and you are empty and this knowledge is awareness so sometimes i tell you these stories so that you remember because mind remembers stories more than the distilled knowledge the distilled knowledge is like uh, distilled whiskey it is too bitter nobody likes it so we add uh, coke in that pepsi in that to make it little bit sweeter so you must have seen all these old books they have stories after stories where is knowledge you take a lens and microscope and you need to search for the essential words there the bottom lines there otherwise it's all story so this is mind yes meditate on the definition of awareness what is awareness and it will become clear